guys, it's Bob here, that's Scottish Drummer, and I'm excited for today's video because we're doing a bit of a mic shootout between the trusty old Shure SM57 and the relative newcomer, the Earthworks DM20. Now this is going to be an interesting one because the SM57 comes in around 80 to 100 pounds, same in dollars, so it's relatively affordable. And the Earthworks DM20 is coming in somewhere between 350 to about 420 depending where you pick them up and if they've got any money off. So the Earthworks does cost about four times as much as the 57. Now, both of these microphones have a cardioid pickup pattern, so they're good for directional miking, which is gonna be good for snare and toms on the kit. So that's what we're gonna be testing out today. The 57 is of course a dynamic microphone and the DM20 is actually a condenser, so it does require phantom power. To keep this test as fair as possible, both mics are going to be running into my Focusrite Clara 8 Pre. Uh, the air setting is going to be turned off, so just straight in through the preamps. Everything that you hear is going to be the sound straight out of the microphone. There's no EQ, no compression, nothing. I'm going to try to get the mic placement as close as possible. Both of these mics do have an option to mount on the rim of the drums. So today we're going to be mounting this on the snare drum, a 12 inch tom and a 16 inch tom. So let's get behind the kit and compare these microphones.
So there we have it guys. Now you can hear what these mics sound like on their own with no effects, no processing done to them. And let me know, do you have a favorite? Do you hear much of a difference? I would be very interested to hear what you guys think of this in the comments down below. To my ear, the Earthworks DM20 are crystal clear. In comparison, the 57 almost sounds muddy when you compare it to the Earthworks microphones. And one other thing I would like to mention too is the build quality of these microphones. Both of them are built like tanks. The 57 is known to survive anything you throw at it, but the DM20 is also built to withstand being hit by a drumstick, which is great. So buying either of these mics, you know that you're gonna be able to play the kit and not be scared to um, hit the microphone, which can be a big problem for us drummers. I do prefer the design of the Earthworks because I like that the mic goes all the way down the side of the drum and all you see is this little gooseneck and the capsule coming out the top. It really does just get out of the way and the part that you do see does look really nice. I'm gonna be doing a few more of these comparisons. I've got the Earthworks kick mic, the AKG D112, the Beta 52. I'm gonna be doing some kick mic tests, some overhead tests, different tests in general. I'm gonna test between my Claret interface to my older Sapphire Pro 40. So if you're interested in this sort of stuff, um, stay tuned because this stuff will be out in the future. Thanks for tuning in and watching this video. I was really excited to make this one because when I was looking at buying these microphones, there wasn't a great deal of information and there wasn't a great deal of comparisons either. So I was excited to do this and hopefully this helps some of you make up your mind on whether you want to buy these Earthworks microphones or stick to some tried and tested Sure. Thanks for watching guys, stay safe and I'll see you in the next one.